my beautiful tea party squad welcome back to another video so as you can see i am going to be planning in my social media planner for the week of october the 4th through the 10th and i cannot wait to show you guys what sticker books i am going to be using for this week so if you were able to catch my pre-planning video where i was pre-planning for the month of october in my weekly spreads you already kind of got an idea of what sticker book i am going to be using but if you have not catched that, don't worry. I'm going to put that video link down below if you want to check that out to see what my process looks like. And I'm just going to tell you what sticker books I'm going to be using. So I am going to be using the Girls With Goals sticker book by The Happy Planner, as well as pairing that sticker book with the Flowers sticker book. They have some um, purple florals in here that I think will go great with this Girls With Gold. And so I want to pull them out and see how they're going to look together. And then lastly, I do want to add a little bit of accessory to my planner spread because I do want to make my social media planner beautiful by decorating it with florals and all that with some script stickers, all those fun things. But I also want it to be a functional spread. So... I am going to try to do that with that Girls With Goals and that Flower Sticker Book, as well as um, tying in some accessories. And I'm going to be using this journaling accessory book by The Happy Planner as well. Yes, you should have known that. Um, they have some beautiful Days of the Week stickers. Do y'all see these? I forgot about these. And so they have some of these, um, these Days of the Week stickers in here. And I believe this purple will go great with that, with different like shades of purple or different hues of purple, I think it will go great. So I'm, I think I'm gonna pull that out and use that, but I just love this font and I wanna use it and see how it looks. So those are the three sticker books that I'm mainly gonna be pulling from, from out of, for, for this spread for this week. And I'm gonna see how this goes. So grab your favorite drink and let's go ahead and start planning together.
All right, my Tea Party Squad. So I am done with my spread for the week of October the 4th through the 10th in my social media planner. And I love how it turned out. So the Girls With Goals and the Flower Sticker Book really, really pair well with each other. I love it, love it, love it. So, oh, you know what? I forgot to date my, my spread. So because this was an, an extension pack and it was undated, I have to remember that I need to date it. So I pulled out my planner basic sticker book that I had on my desk. I don't know why I had it there, but I need it. So that's a good thing. So I'm going to pull out. They have some, some of these numbers here. They're pretty big numbers, but I think that'll be great because they'll really stand out and pop out on the spread. But, you know, if y'all have been watching me for quite some time from the beginning of my YouTube channel, you know I used to use these number stickers a whole lot. So, like, I literally have, like, one, two, like, two little stickers left on this one. I have been using my numbers, but I haven't pulled this out in a while, so... I'm really excited that I had this on my desk. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out, uh-oh, I don't have enough numbers, y'all. So I already, apparently I already used five, six, and seven. So what I'm going to do is actually take away from some of these numbers here. So I'm going to do five, no, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I'm going to use 10. That's what I'm going to do. So let me do that real quick. So now I am done. I went ahead, dated my planner. I love how it looked. I changed up a bit and put the numbers on the side here. And I love how it turned out. So I hope you guys found a helpful tip that I did in this video. I used some of the planner basic sticker books. And when I used the, the dates, I didn't have all of the date, the numbers that I needed. And so what I did, I just utilized some of the numbers that were already in here. And if I can find the page... Here we go. I utilized some of the numbers like 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And I just took my pin blade um, retractable little exacto knife and I just kind of sliced it down the middle just to kind of cut out the number that I wanted. And I was able to use it to date my planner. So if you are a planner newbie and you're trying to figure out how to, you know, date your planners, but you don't have all of your numbers, you can definitely you know, use up some of the numbers that you do have to make up those numbers. So I hope that was a helpful tip for you. But I am done with my spread. I also put a quote sticker here and it's in silver foil. And I love using quote stickers on top of my stickers. But this silver foil, the foil stickers are not my best friend right now. Like it's hard to kind of pick up, but you'll see it says, don't ignore your potential. And I just love just to have that little layer over that. And... Yeah, so this is going to be my film to-do section, my top three priorities for the week, things that I need to remember or follow up on as far as emails and calls and comments. I want to make sure I follow up on that. And then down here in this little section is going to be my creator spotlight where I put a little sticker that says, you are amazing. So I have that for that little section. And then here I have my little goal section and I just took that flower to divide that section up. Um, I was going to use this as my Instagram post section, but I'm just going to leave that as it is because that flower just kind of took up most of my space, which is perfectly fine with me. And then I did my weekly side here. So I love how it turned out. Hopefully you were able to get some inspirational ideas from this spread and how to create a decorative functional spread in your happy planner or any of your other planners that you are using. 
And again, I am a decorative and functional planner. And so if you are definitely a decorative and functional planner as well, please make sure to follow me here on YouTube as well as on Instagram where I share more of my spreads there on Instagram. So if you are new here to my tea party, hello and welcome. I do hope you find some inspiration and ideas and helpful tips in my video that would make you consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a part of my tea party squad. So until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.